Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Violent 4 In our today's episode we're gonna play as Turkey Yes guys you heard it right We're gonna play as Turkey and we will fulfill Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's dream I hope that pronounces correctly Yes we will fulfill his dream That is we will take the paths which are which he would like us to take. The game gives us some indications for that. The thing is, I'll turn historical air focuses off, but to have a resemblance of somewhat of a challenge, I will make the Soviet Union and Germany go historical. Uh, the rest will be all random, guys. Okay, let me know what you think about it. The rest will be all random, but this will be like that. So we're gonna go ahead and fulfill Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's dream. So, guys, before we continue, please like and subscribe and also turn the bell on. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And then let's just get going, shall we? So guys, as I've said, the world will be unpredictable. I just thought. What does it say? Emre Dersimis. Okay. So, the Montreux Convention is the first thing we will be researching. And after that, guys, after that, here you see achieving Ataturk's dream. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk's long dream that Turkey would one day become a fully functioning democracy. And that it would appear that we have successfully fulfilled that dream. So apparently we gotta be democratic for that uh, to, to uh, occur. Okay. Because industrial-wise we are pretty damn weak. So as, as you can see, we are pretty weak. And we are played by uh, problems, by the first problem is by the fundamental states, the second one are the Kurds so we are plagued by the Kurds and by the fundamentalists so we gotta uh, solve that respectively just continuing the focus tree will help us the thing is guys, so look we have tank divisions as garrison template that is absolutely terrible Did not do that, I'll just suggest to get just you know, cavalry as the garrison wants, that's the best thing to do. We need weapons more than everything, so we'll only get weapons actually and nothing else. Because, look, uh, we need weapons and we don't need other things. So we're just getting weapons and a convoy right now and essentially that's it. So guys, the Soviet Union opposes our remilitarization. Uh, Okay, we shall offer the compromise. Okay, sure. Look, I, I don't want to go to war with the Soviet Union now, so that's... I'm fine with that. In terms of war, we close anyway. So guys, to in order to achieve Ataturk's dream, we have to go ahead and fully integrate the Ishbank. That's the first thing we are doing right now. And the Kurds just escalated their resistance. There we go. I don't know how to curb that. We need... Command power, we gotta Im Im improve our war support for that. Okay, but this is nothing we can rush, you know? So, yeah. Well, guys, all oh, the black shirts organized in the UK, like, is is that a joke? So, uh, well, fulfilling Atatürk's dream means that Britain becomes fascist or what? Like, this is a joke. Really, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good, but uh, I'll see. I'll see what happens, guys, okay? I don't know. I don't bloody know. I'll just pro 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 privatize the another agency next, I suppose. What about our navy? Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's do some naval practice now. We don't have any fields, so better not. Well, guys, so maybe you should turn on uh, at least historical focuses for the major countries if you want to become democratic as uh, as for example the um, the Turks maybe that would have been a good idea but I don't know we're just gonna see how it goes I won't probably play this for long anyway so we'll just see and find out I think initiating counter fundamentalist operation is a good thing right we are doing that it failed oh no I don't know our resistance is just going up and up. Well, I'm trying my best to get military factories. I don't like it that they just have six research slots and opposition movement begins to form. Anand Mendelez apparently is the man of the nation. Okay, I'm not sure if that's historically accurate, but you know. 
I'll just try to get the resemblance of a regular army now by all getting these other things. Let's get this Sanai Jiler. This is unconstitutional, shut it down. The democratic will of the people shall be known. Yes, democratic will of the people shall be known. So will the non-aligned be overthrown, guys? That's a question, essentially. That's a question, right? Menderes traditional group approaches Kurdish organizations for alliance. This cooperation could bring fruit in the future. Okay. So the sort of Democrats will even win. Okay, well, that's really interesting. I, I don't think... I really don't think... Um, the Turks would have elected against Atatürk. If you ask me, uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments. But, uh, yeah, so what's this? Uh, we show our amnesty will increase intensity. Uh, I think the stability one here is more important, guys. So I'll just go to the stability one. Guys, it is apparently important to improve relations with everyone because we have an option that is giving us foreign capital. This is the higher relations with the old great powers of Europe and the USA, the more options for investment we will be able to pay for. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and hold our first multi-party election. Let's go ahead and hold our first multi-party election. And uh, I think Mustafa Kemal Atatürk will uh, be gone, essentially. Well, that was his dream, right? We are fulfilling his dream. So, uh, I don't know when he died, I think he died in 1937, so we are fulfilling his wish before his death. We swore to fight at fair election day. Who wins? The Republicans or uh, the Islamists? What, are, are they fundamentalists? It, it, are, why are the Democrats fundamentalists? Well, I mean, if you know Turkey's history, that makes sense. Okay, that really makes sense, so... Uh, yeah, we will go ahead and say the Republicans win. Also, JP has become democratic, guys. Okay, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Even in retirement, our Ghazi cannot help but get involved in the politics of our nation. He may know one can formerly be president, but Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's word remains law even now. Okay, well, that's very, very interesting. So we're doing the utilizing foreign capital now. And I hope, well, they have good relations with them. It's improved to the maximum with all already, guys, or what? I think so, right? So, just keep it improving for now. Uh, maybe also Austria, but I don't think Austria will help us. Our zero world just has to break out. I wonder what happens if we go ahead and counter the rebels in one state, for example. They have rebels defeat our forces in the room. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Weekly stability. Yes, let's get weekly stability. We need that. So we are utilizing foreign capital and the great powers. They like us. Okay, they, they like us. It's almost maxed out. So I hope they're gonna pay for investments or at least invest in our country. <coughs> so let's see. Do they? Oh, okay, apparently they don't. Achieving Atatürk's dream. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk long dream that the Republic of Turkey would one day become a fully functioning democracy. And it would appear that we have successfully fulfilled that dream. So, we have done it within his lifetime, guys. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? It wasn't done historically, but we achieved to do that. We did it. We did it regardless. Well, I shouldn't repair that because they're just gonna keep damaging that. I'm just gonna build up a nice factories. I don't think it's worth building infrastructure, guys, because, well, we don't have much infrastructure uh, capacities. Anyway, it's just plus 40 everywhere. I think that's fine, I'm just gonna build some, uh, some, let's just maximize out these slots, some civilian factories, I think. Or should I only build military? I don't know, I don't know, that's a hard question, right? Huh. Okay, I can in discuss investment possibilities with these nations, so I think the US loves us. Let's invest, discuss it with the US, and then see if that actually helps. Death of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the Republic of Greece, war hero, revolutionary president and father of the Turks, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk has passed away peacefully in his sleep. Okay, rest easy, our Ghazi, we shall never forget you. Okay, so the traditionalists shall collectively seize the opposition to the government, apparently. Okay, well, that's good, so we get rid of these two annoying 
affect us. That's great. Well, the Soviet Union actually invests in our country. Okay, we got one soon in the factory. Well, that's good. The US did not invest though, so I don't know why the US didn't invest. Anyway, we got uh, what we got decisions to integrate the Kurds. I, I think it said something like that, but I cannot see any decisions. Okay, we need compliance more than 70%. Okay, so let's go ahead, counter the rebels there. And see what the outcome is. They defeat our... How do they just defeat our forces? Like, always. Again. Rebel successfully countered in Tunjali. Okay, that's good. So it is 42% now. How much is in other state? So actually, fighting them doesn't do any good for us, does it? Well, there it's bloody 70%. That's far too much. Let's fight rebels in one. They defeat our forces in one. Well, I mean, is it even worth it? Because they just keep defeating our forces anyway. I don't think that's kind of historical, guys, you know. But, uh, well, okay, let's discuss investment possibilities with Soviet Union again, with our Soviet friends. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, again, we'll ask this time the US for investment. Let's see, will the Americans help us if we prove relations? Well, the Soviets didn't help us last time. Uh... I mean, they have that once. Let's see if the Americans help us now. We have so many industrial projects we can fulfill, guys. That's, that's pretty interesting, actually. Yes, I'll go ahead and do that. It gives us basically free factories for that way. Treaty of Sarabat, sure, whatever that does. Let's go ahead and do that. And the Americans didn't help us, so I don't know if it's always worth it doing that. I think it's better to use our political power to invest it in our projects and not the state. Let's go ahead. Count all the rebels in Erzurum. Why do they keep... Okay, it's okay. It's 69%. They defeated 69%. I see. Okay. I didn't know, guys, that it's so much. Well, then, then, then there's no point in doing that. I didn't know that if you fight them, you just... Your arm is bound to lose. It's just, just, just pointless, essentially. You know, it's just pointless to fight them. Afghanistan rejects... Iraq signs it, Iran signs it. Okay, cool. I don't know why Afghanistan rejects it. Like, uh, well, well, I mean, cool, fine. If you want to reject it, go ahead. Reject that. We don't care. Uh, I want to ask. Let's go ahead and ask Germany. Let's go ahead and ask Germany for help with the uh, German Reich. Okay. I forgot. We're going to assess our future. The legacy of Atatürk. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk liberated this nation and declared its independence. He did so with a very specific vision of what Turkish state should eventually look like. Okay, well, it should be democratic for sure. We're gonna press the Hatay issue and then do our peace in the world apparently. So let's see if we can join the allies and <coughs> well, the allies. They are fascists, so uh, that's not optimum. Say the least, it's not optimal at all. Well, German Reich invest in our military industry. Well, we got one factory. Well, it's it's better than zero, right? It's better than zero, essentially. So we should be grateful, happy for that, after all. Well, we became the owner of Hatay. We got 250,000 people as a core state, but uh, yeah, and that's it. So we got half a million of core population. The entire world declares independence. Okay, South Africa declares independence. All of them. Well... The allies, they are a joke at this point, so... Yeah, guys, if you want to go democratic as Turkey, I would suggest... Well, thank you, sir. I would suggest you turn on historical focuses. Or you at least make the major nations. You know, the making the major nations go historical would be okay, but, but like, now Germany is basically gonna dominate Europe, I think. Now we can look outwards at last and see... Uh, what the world offers us, so we can finally do the foreign policy of Turkey in 1938. Because Germany just declared unopposed war on Czechoslovakia. Okay, the French are fighting them as well, apparently. Okay, that's quite interesting. The French are... Now the Germans are fighting the French and the Czechs. Yeah, looking outwards, okay. Let's reconfigure Turkish foreign policy. Well, I think the Germans will just capitulate both, if you guys ask me, to be honest. I don't know, really. Well, interestingly, there's an Anglo-Italian alliance. So, Italy joined the Allies, but they're fascists. So, 
face down to oppose the Germans, I don't know, but things are taking a very interesting turn. Uh, we can say this for sure. You can do the Anglo-Turkish Agreement, German-Turkish Friendship Treaty, or renew the Soviet Aggression Pact. I'll do the Anglo-Turkish Agreement, okay, fine. And we have no manpower, so I'm just gonna cancel the production of these divisions, I suppose. Uh, we need manpower for our... Uh, I cannot extend this conscription. Well, that's the disadvantage of democracies, guys. So, just fine. Look, it's just filling up, like, instantly. Instantaneously. That's the thing. So Italy invests. Thank you, Italy. Thank you very much. I, I think, actually, if I go ahead and just discuss it once with them, it, it's enough. Or I don't know how this works, actually. How the situation works here. And, guys, the Czechs have capitulated. Now the Germans have all of their focus. Upon the French, as it seems. Well, the Czechs were fully annexed. I think the Clotus Agreement. The Batumi Accords. I don't care, guys. Look, I'm appeasing all major powers to get all of their factories, okay? <laughs> well, the British Empire just fully annexed Ireland and, 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 and no one even cared about Ireland, apparently. It's like, alright, fine. And the Spanish are fighting the Portuguese, so what the hell is going on? Or what? Italy because war in Yugoslavia. There's Boivarian alliance. Okay. Uh, so the Yugoslavs aren't being protected by anyone as it seems. Alright. Faction wise, uh, well we have the X and the Allies still. The French are also at war with the Italians. Like why? Well the French are gonna uh, fall for sure. Gonna carved up. They're gonna be carved up by the factions. So I'm paying up from our debts, let's just go ahead. It's still not fully uh, worth it, I think. Like, it is 21.50. Let's see, if we conduct an operation now, what's gonna happen? And it is successfully defeated, that's great. So we can integrate Elzorn, they will be a core state. Let's go ahead and integrate them. It costs us 200, but they've become a core state of our republic. If we conduct an operation there, it says 49. Let's go ahead, conduct it, let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, successfully defeated, so we can integrate them as well. Let's conduct an operation in Hakari. Uh, I'll defeat our forces Hakari in one. What's happening in one? I'm just gonna defeat Cool. Another in Hakari. I'll just do it. Defeat it. Another one. We make a modest investment. Defeat. Come on. Defeat it. Okay. <laughs> it's just funny. Boom. Let's defeat him one more time. Okay, they defeat us. But now, come on, now we're gonna win. Defeat it. Okay, it is essentially, well, it's non existent. Let's see, we're gonna defeat them in one. Right? Yes, count that. One more time. Come on. Come on, let's go ahead. They defeat us. Okay, it is 2750. Let's boost it a little bit. Come on, let's go ahead. Uh, count out. There we go. It's great. Now one more time. And uh, what's gonna happen? Count out in one. Okay, so we can integrate that state as well and that state in a bit as well, essentially. So France joined the United States the dawn of the American Union, guys. So uh, the American Union, we have a full blown out world war in 19... 39 as it seems. The question now is what do we want to do, guys? What do we want to do is the question. I'll just go ahead and um, go ahead, apply British all embargoes. I just let's just appease everyone, right? Just appease everyone. But well, let's quite a war. The French, the Germans, the Americans, full blown out the world war. A really weird world war in uh, this time. But with the American giant active, not sleeping anymore. I think the democratic powers of the world will win. It depends on if the Germans attack the Poles now or not. That's the big question. Well, what? How did France just capitulate? Like, they hadn't lost... Okay, they just lost Paris and then they surrendered. Okay, so the British just invaded that, te that territory. And then they already capitulated. So, well, Europe is basically completely fascist at this point. Not completely, but well, I mean, the Allies and the Axis, they're both fascists, to be honest. This, guys, really discourages me to play, uh, to continue playing. But well, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. 
<laughs> oh, guys, the Mexicans even pushed into American territory. Like, what the hell is going on, guys? What the hell is going on? Just, just think that the Americans would come to the Mexicans now. Wouldn't that be absolutely hilarious? I don't know what's going on with the world, truthfully. So, one thing is for sure: Turkey stands alone as a beacon of democracy in this abyss, in this sheer abyss of fascism uh, in the world. And Yugoslavia did just completely keep it. So, guys, we gotta do something. We gotta bloody do something. The thing is, we I can't join any faction. Well, world tension is at a hundred percent. So we could go ahead and fight the Allies, right? Well, the Americans are losing territory to to the... Really? Like... Well, they have 2 million manpower now. Well, I see why they... Well, this is... So I can join the faction, guys. I can join the faction. This doesn't mean we would be in war with the Germans and with the Italians. So should we do that, guys? I'm gonna, I think, go ahead and do that. Uh, but before I do so, let's... Uh, I... Poland seeds Danzig. Okay, so uh, they seeded Danzig apparently. Well, who guys, 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 really, really, really difficult situation we are having here. I have, I think, I'm just gonna use these five divisions to guard my naval ports, just area defense. Okay, so are we gonna go ahead and join a faction? We start together with the Americans in this noble, noble war. The Mexicans, well, they joined the Allies, interestingly. So, uh, well, both are fighting the Americans. So, we are gonna join the American war effort. Democracy will not be dead. Will not be distinguished in this world, guys. In this world. We are readying our armed forces. Keeping track. We have equipment, but we don't have manpower. That's the biggest issue. We're gonna go ahead, get a massive production of military equipment in our factories, and so this guys a, a I don't know what to say. Completely unexpected scenario. Completely unexpected, I would say the least. I just want to kick out the Italians from wherever they are. So the thing is, they control this territory, these territories, and there as well. So we're gonna send divisions there as well. We're gonna knock them out quick. As well, look, Italy is justifying against us anyway. Well, anyway, guys, our army is ready. We we will attack the fascist beast in the next episode. Well, guys, I thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye, and have a great day to you all.